Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. So these are the battles that I did in the Open Great League. And I had success with this team. We have a beautiful 4-1 for you. This is the Open Great League. Did I already mention that? Maybe. But the team is going to be Reggie Steele, Pelipa, and Lickitung. So this team is ABA weak to fighting. But if you think about it, like if, if Metachamp happens to be in the league, lead, lead. First of all, Reggie Steele doesn't even do that bad against it. But you could say swap into Lickitung because Lickitung is doing super effective damage with those Lick attacks, right? So uh, it's really not actually that bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and just dive right into the battles and see see how things go, right? So Reggie Steele into Noctowl. Okay, this is a great matchup. Uh, you don't really see Noctowl out here as much as you used to, obviously. Uh, okay, so Fetch is coming in. Now my opponent does throw, I know this is just going to be a, a Night Slash or a Leaf Blade, I do expect Leaf Blade and it is Leaf Blade, it's not a Break Bird, uh, but it does do a lot of damage, and I was actually getting concerned if they could possibly maybe farm me down, uh, because they do shield it, um, but I'm actually going to be able to shield and farm them down because they do resist counter, uh, but Surfetch does have a really high attack, right, so it's close, but I am able to win that one. Uh, I can't make it to uh, the Hurricane, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw the, the Weather Ball. Now, what's good about throwing this Weather Ball is uh, that Noctowl is in Zap Cannon range now, right? So, uh, that's really good for me. So, now I can safely bring in that Reggie Steel with Tide on Shields, hoping that whatever's in the back does not appreciate the Lickitung. And it really doesn't. It's a Swampert. Uh, so, obviously, a Power Whip is going to KO. That's why I'm going to actually go ahead and bait against the Swampert, because I know that they need to win switch, or not win switch, but uh, they need to uh, have the Swampert on my Registeel, I know that, right? They can't have the Noctel on it, at least not when my Registeel is healthy, so I do go ahead and successfully bait there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. It actually is an Earthquake, which will be enough to KO me. Um, I could have shielded that, but that's okay, because I could bring in my Registeel, shield this one up, it is going to be a Hydro. Uh, and I'm going to be able to win this one. Just watch out for a possible catch. I, did, I wasn't sure if the switch timer was up. But either way, I do get off the Focus Blast, and that will be enough to KO. And now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is in Zap Cannon range. All I need is one Zap Cannon, and two Shadow Balls will not be enough to KO me. So I'm actually going to be able to take this in game. It's actually pretty close. I think they do get another one. Oh, no, they don't. Okay. So they don't get another one off, but I do get this Zap Cannon. This is going to be enough to KO, and that's going to be a great game. Very well played to my opponent. Hope you all enjoy Grubbin Community Day. I don't know if this video is going to be going up afterwards. Uh, but Reggie still on the same level. Okay. Interesting matchup. Obviously, I would prefer Lickitung on this, but it's not on it. So you got to play the, the hand you dealt. Um, so I do let this one go. Uh, generally, you do like shielding up the first one uh, because it will do the last if they get the debuff. They actually switch out. Uh, into their own Reggie Steel. So I am in Focus Blast range, so that is something to take note of. They are not in Focus Blast range. I'm hoping to get mine off first, though, and it looks like we they barely get it off, which is going to be enough to KO my Reggie Steel, and I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I thought about it, but I do decide to let it go so I could uh, I could uh, faint this Reggie Steel now. The backline does not really appreciate Reggie Steel, um, but when it's this low, uh, a Weather Ball is going to be enough to KO. Now, I'm hoping that the Sableye doesn't come in. Of course it does, because I have Lickitung for it. Um, I'm going to try and catch a foul play, not successfully. Uh, my opponent is going to go ahead and throw uh, an attack. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to, yeah, just save my shields for that Pelipper. It's going to be a return. Out comes a little in Sand Slash. So, uh, the backline also doesn't really like Alolan Lolan Sand Slash. I mean, Lickitung is not bad against the Lolan Sand Slash, but the reason it doesn't really like it is because your charge attacks are resisted. But at the same time, you double resist Shadow Claw, so it's actually not that bad. Um, so, yeah, I can take an Ice Punch. It's not like they could farm me down, right? It would be very difficult to Shadow Claw down my Lickitung. So I'm feeling pretty confident here. I do go ahead and throw an attack. Trying to get to one more. They're not going to let me get to one more. So they're going to go ahead and throw this into my Lickitung, which is okay. This is going to be enough to KO. Uh, so I can bring in my Pelipper. I'm going to go ahead and throw just before they get off another attack, another Ice Punch. See if they want to go ahead and shield. I do on CMP, uh, but they actually let it go. So I basically need three Weather Balls. And because of how much energy I have, I'm going to be able to get three Weather Balls. Um... Before they Shadow Claw me down. And their only play is to really go for the Shadow Claw down. But fortunately they're not going to be able to get it. Uh, I do throw this Weather Ball. Uh, and I'm going to be able to throw another Weather Ball. Which will be enough to KO the Sableye. And that is going to be a beautiful game. Very well played to my opponent. Able to take that one. 
You'll love to see it. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. Going up against House Stock. Let's go. Reggie Steele into Dragon Knight. So this is an interesting matchup. Um, <laughs> I remember this game. Uh, GG's House Stock. Uh, always a pleasure to battle you, my friend. Um, he does get off an attack. You know what? I am going to go ahead and shield, and it is going to be the Dragon Claw. I kind of expected, but at the same time... I don't know, it's kind of risky not to, because at the same, like, he could have went for the superpower and then dipped, right? Uh, and unfortunately, I don't get the debuff there. I really need those debuffs. I'm trying to get to another Zap Cannon. I'm going to go ahead and commit the shield, because I know a Zap Cannon will KO him, and it is a superpower, so that's a good shield. Uh, I'm going to throw my Zap Cannon right now. I wasn't sure if he would shield this or let this go, but he actually does decide to shield it. And guess what? No debuff! That is really unfortunate. So I know that I'm going to lose my Registeel. I was going to try and catch, but I uh, just wasn't able to there. Um, beginning my uh, Pelope. He's going to go ahead and switch into Greedent. Okay. Um, Alright, uh, so Greedent is going to go ahead and throw an attack right now. Uh, it's going to be a Body Slam, right? I'm gonna get off my hurricane right now. I hope this. I, I was hoping this would put it in farm down range, but it really doesn't. I mean, maybe, but no, because the ingredient's gonna be able to get off another body slam, so I really can't farm down. I am not looking too hot here. I'm gonna try and catch maybe an attack, and I was like, well, you know what? Maybe Lickitung can get an aggressive farm down. Maybe there's a swamp in the back, and then I can KO it with the power whip. Uh, because I mean, this this. Farm down is really super aggressive, right? Because Lick is double double resisted, but uh, we can see that it's Reggie Steel in the back. Unfortunately, it's not the Swamp it, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this Body Slam right now into the Reggie Steel, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw another one into the Reggie Steel right now. Uh, and this is going to connect, okay? And that was a CMP side, so this is gonna KO my Lick Um not anything I could do about it, right? And I'm like, I bring a pellet, I'm like, just not happening. Just not happening. Two weather balls should be enough to KO, but that Dragonite is still healthy enough, right? And as you can see, I do throw it just before he gets off another attack, which will KO the Registeel, but the Dragonite is just going to be able to farm me down. Uh, and he still technically has that greed in the live yet. And I don't think a weather ball would have KO'd the Dragonite from that health anyway. Good game. Well played, House Stock. Always a pleasure, as I said, to battle you. Moving on. Uh, let's see what we have. I've battled this trainer before in the past as well. It's my Reggie Steel versus Victor Bell. Okay, so um, this is interesting though. I do resist these attacks, right? The, um, but I think it's probably better. I, I was kind of thinking that there would be a Metacham and a Bashu down in the back, so maybe it's better to immediately switch out into Lickitung. Uh, I do get the attack debuff there, which is nice, but. Maybe going into Lickitung is the play because if there is a Bastiodon, now my backline is in trouble because the Registeel is basically going essentially down. I mean, it's not down, but the backline doesn't really like Bastiodon. I guess Lickitung has play, but I mean, Pelop has play technically because of the weather balls, but yeah, really not uh, good for me. But fortunately, this trainer does not have the Bastiodon. Uh, I switch immediately into my Lickitung. Uh, the Shadow Claw is not doing much as we know. Um, so the trainer is staying in. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my body slam right now. Um, just to get off, uh, whatever damage I can, right? Because Pelipper doesn't really like a low sand slam. <laughs> I mean, the wing attacks are resisted. The weather balls are, are, are fine. Uh, it's nice neutral damage, but now it's low enough where I could wing attack it down. Um, so just gonna go ahead and take this one. Um, and yeah, I even actually survive another one, even a drill run, I think. So let's see, does this trainer throw a drill run? Yes, they do. Actually, I don't survive the drill run, uh, but I'm going to bring in my Pelipper, uh, and I'll come Stabilize. So it is a, a, a shadow variant of Stabilize. So I'm assuming that this trainer is going to assume, uh, that I'm throwing the weather balls, but can you really call the bait? I'm mean, she actually does call the bait, but, um, I, the only reason I said that is because, uh, now it's low enough that I could probably just double shield and farm down, right? Um, so I, I was gonna try and catch, but I was like, it's not even worth it. I'm just gonna go ahead and farm down. I could shield this one, uh, safely up, and I could just wing attack all the way down. Um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Out comes the Sand Slash, and we both go down at the same time, but I, I do win because I still have a Pokemon in the back. Good game. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Here we go. I think this is the final battle. Um, let's see how things go. Reggie Steel into Greedon. Okay. So when I first saw this matchup, I thought this was a great matchup. And it's not bad. 
but it's really not it's really not a dominating matchup. That could be because Greedent has mud shot now, and the mud shots definitely are adding up, especially if they get a debuff, right? Uh, because one focus blast does not KO. And again, like again, I think I messed this game up because I think you should throw the zap cannon because um, I don't get the debuff there, but that's Oh, there's no debuff. That's what, <laughs> what am I talking about? You should throw the Zap Cannon uh, because you have a chance at a debuff, right? To debuff them. Plus, you can't KO them with one Focus Blast anyway. And it's like, can I really farm that down? It's tight. I No, I can't because if I went for the farm down, that Greedent would have won. But if the Greedent wants to, to shield, I'm more than happy, willing to let them shield. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Lickitung immediately. Uh, and just throw body slams. Look at tongue, definitely is a safe swap on this team. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this body slam. Um, and yeah, just take these attacks from the Gligar. Gligar is a really good Pokemon this season. Of course, it does have Dig. Um, and Dig and Aviolis both got buffed. So really powerful stuff. Uh, another attack coming in. And this is actually gonna be an Aviolis. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Aviolis. Uh, and that was a CMP tie. So out comes my body slam. Uh, and that's fine. And they're gonna go ahead and throw, and that's totally fine. I'm just gonna rely on Pelipper. I don't know what's in the back. If there's a lantern, it's gonna destroy my Pelipper, but I'm just gonna rely on Pelipper. And out comes Tapu Fini. So the beautiful thing about this is that I'm doing neutral damage with Wing Attack, and I resist the Water Guns, right? I also resist Surf, but I guess Surf would probably... It would add up with the Water Guns, so... Um, they, they call that, and I kind of thought that he would call it, to be honest, but... It's still safe. It's still way too safe to go eat for the weather ball. You should just definitely go for the weather balls here because it doesn't really matter at this point. Even I knew even if he called it, uh, I was still going to be fine here because I could just double shield the surfs. And I know they're going to be two surfs, but I can go ahead and shield this one up. Totally fine. Uh, now I have two weather balls. I think I paused for a second after this weather ball to make sure they don't catch. Wasn't sure if the switch timer was up. You got to be careful with that. Yeah, as you can see, I paused for a second. Uh, to see if uh, they were going to try and catch, but fortunately for me, my opponent is not able to catch. And, and now uh, that down goes at Gligar, and that's going to be a great game. Very well played to my opponent, to all of my opponents. Really well done. Uh, and that is going to be a 4-1. This could be a great game. Yeah, great video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate that. I'm recording this late at night. i got to go to bed. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.